I like this part in the book of Matthew. It says, look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food, or your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Nora looked up excitedly at her friends. She skipped down a few lines when she saw Sasha losing interest. Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Nora finished, feeling quite satisfied. Sasha rolled her eyes. I don't get it. Emily's soft whisper became strong as she spoke up. I think I get it. It's saying that if God takes care of the daily needs of something as small as a bird, we will be taken care of too because we are even more important to him than the birds, so we shouldn't worry, because no good comes of it and we should just take it day by day and have faith. Yes. Nora said, glad that Emily got it. That's exactly it. Reading this always calms me down and makes me realize God is in control and we shouldn't worry about anything. God is taking care of us and the boys. After reading this, the worry leaves my mind, and I can sleep peacefully. Sasha rolled her eyes again. Yeah, 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 I get it. Don't worry, be happy. Whatever. That's all fine and dandy if you live on Unicorn Island, but that's unrealistic. No, it's not, Nora said defensively. Nora, you're worried right now, Sasha smirked. But I'm trying not to be. Sasha's eyes went from Nora to the Bible, back to Nora. It's a work in progress. Nora defended and hugged her Bible. Seems like everything about your faith is a work in progress, Sasha said sarcastically. Yeah, that's the point, Nora said firmly. Well, Nora, I think it's a good word, and it makes me feel...